Today, we're touring a $3.8 million home that has over 7,000 square feet here in one of the most affluent communities in the city. We're in Bel Air. Welcome to Calgary Cribs. In this series, we take you on a tour of some of Calgary's hottest and most exclusive homes. Today's property is a mansion of unparalleled architecture and West Coast flair that offers a living experience like no other. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my crib. Wouldn't that be nice? I'd love it if this was my home and you guys are gonna see why. Right here, this is what we call a grand entrance. And for people with money, they call this a foyer. A foyer is where people come and take off their shoes in a home of this type of stature. Over here, you've got a little sitting area, gas fireplace, wood burning with tile all the way to the ceiling. This kind of sets the stage for the entire home. Now, when we're walking through here, I'm gonna get some feedback from my cameraman, but what are your first impressions, Levy? Yeah, the natural light flowing through here is wild. Yeah, tall ceilings. Over here, you guys can't see this yet, but we're gonna take you through it. There's an incredible loft space above, guest bedroom, poker table, really cool spot for entertaining. With 5,600 square feet, that's what this house was built for. It was built to have people in this home, to have drinks, to entertain. You know what? Someone that owns this property is gonna be a business owner, a tycoon, a tycoon, 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 a mogul. A mogul owns this home. Over here, we've got a 90 bottle glass enclosed wine case. This is kind of cool. Nice little touch. They've even got these bottles branded with the community on it. Oh, Bel Air. That's money right there. Okay, taking you guys through the rest of the property. And like I said, a lot of ground to cover here today. We do have 5,600 square feet on this floor, but I wanna show you this. This caught my eye. Check out this feature wall. Look at that, LEDs behind these slated tiles. This would be kind of a staging room before you take people into the kitchen to do some more entertaining. Over here, we've got double doors, which lead you out to the front yard space. One of the things that I wanna showcase in this video though, the community of Bel Air is such a quiet area. The average price point in this community just to get in here is $2 million and up. So all your neighbors, they're gonna be the best of the best. And for good reason, because these properties, they're very rare. And if you're looking to showcase unique features of a home, this is the community that you would do it in. Over here, you've got your large eat-in kitchen, nice island with granite countertops, undermount lighting under all the cabinetry, sub-zero fridge, wolf appliances, gas range. It's even better when you're talking about a $4 million home, you have to have a butler's pantry because let's face it, most of the people that live in properties like this, they're never cooking for themselves. So you've got a butler's pantry over here, really handy and functional. And then here, check this out, gold flake leafed wallpaper in this main floor powder room. Love the black sink. I love the way that they've done the marbling here on the tile. Black toilet, kind of cool. This is a really awesome, elegant looking space. Moving forward now, we head into, this is what we would call the residential wing of the home. You can see there's a bit of a transition piece here where we have carpeting on the floors. Before we get there though, look at this. Over here to the left. Yeah, this office look is awesome. Look at this awesome. office. My favorite feature in this office is this fireplace feature. They've done like a river rock all the way to the top. And again, it's lofted. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the bedrooms first and then we'll take you guys upstairs next to see that because I think that's just like the cherry on top. But who wouldn't love this as their office? I could get work done here. I could also have a few drinks here too. It's kind of a cool chill spot. Okay, over here, master bedroom. Primary, no? Primary. When you have a house like this, you can call it whatever you want. We're gonna call it a master bedroom for today. Today, here you go, you walk in elegant bathroom. This isn't finished off. This property is still undergoing a few improvements, but they've built this beautiful bathroom with walk-through shower that goes all the way through to the ensuite master closet. This is kind of neat. I, I've never seen this in a house before, but the doggy door, in case you've got pets, is <laughs> right over here. You got a little doggy door that will take your pet outside while you're sitting on the toilet. Never thought about that in my life before, but hey, I don't have $4 million, maybe that's something you do. Stepping through to the primary suite. There you go, called it primary. Large bedroom, lots of space for seating, big bed. This is a king, you could do a California king if you wanted, but look at how much room you have in here. You've got an entirely dedicated seating area, another fireplace with tile all the way to the ceiling, and a nice feature of this room is that it opens up to your own private deck over here. It's a really tranquil setting at the end of the night. 
neat thing about this house, you're gonna get your steps in. I'm not wearing my Apple Watch today, but during the filming of this video, I'm gonna say we get in like two to 3,000 steps. And here we've got your laundry room. Functional space, as you'd expect, definitely larger than most homes. Place where you can drop off all your clothes, shut the door, you don't have to worry about it, keep it out of the way of your guests. And then over here, we've got another closet and then a large bedroom. So this would be guest bedroom number one. We went through the master, this is the secondary guest bedroom. Large, these don't open up, they're just slatted windows, but it lets in a lot of natural light. Now moving forward this way, this room also has its own ensuite. Again, tying into that West Coast Scandinavian vibe with the wood color tones, but a nice ensuite. If you were a guest or a kid, this would be a great bedroom. It's a beautiful day. We're gonna take you guys outside, but before we do that, I was gonna save this for last, but it's just too cool of a feature. My videographer loves this space. We yeah, think, let's go check it out. Let's take him upstairs. Built-in LED lighting, make sure you know where you're walking. But this just opens up into one of the coolest games room, guest house, if you will, spaces I've ever seen. So take a look at this. You've got foosball over here a guest bedroom all the way over to my right. That beautiful chandelier that we saw when we walked in, that's right here, check that out. Over there, you've got your own private entertaining space, watch movies, do screenings, all that kind of stuff. But this is neat. This is where your guests would stay. This is nicer than the primary room, in my opinion. I would stay here any day. Come and check this out. Your guest gets their own ensuite, walk-in shower, full-size bedroom, fit for a king and that's what we have right here. Check this out, you've got your own bar, wet bar, and a little poker dining area. What would you use this space for? How would you categorize it? Cause I'm running out of words. I don't know, I just love the wood that's covering all yeah, the surfaces it's really here. cool, right? It's fresh and there's so much lighting in here. Like the windows go from half the wall all the way up to the ceiling. All I can see out there right now is aspens and blue sky. This is a really cool space for entertaining, which lends itself to the theme of this home because in my opinion, this is a property that you wanna show off. You wanna bring people to this house and you wanna entertain. That's what I'd do with this property. What do you think? We show them the garage? I think I'm gonna kick your ass. Let's go play this game right here. <laughs> I don't even know if this thing plugs in or how does the air turn on? Staging, there you go. Oh, that's a cheap shot. Over here you have your back entrance that leads you out to your full length gated driveway and then private patio space. Let's take you guys downstairs so we can work on our fitness, check out the theater room in the gym. How about the garage, come on. Oh yeah, we've got an oversized two car garage, epoxy floors and a bunch of built-ins for your tools because you know you're gonna work on cars. You ready for downstairs? Can I show them downstairs Check out now? that theater room, let's go. I would be more excited about the garage if they had a couple Ferraris in there, but it's empty today. <laughs> it is what it is. You gotta bring your own. <laughs> ah, nice and cool down here. For those of you that are watching this video, it's like 28 degrees Celsius outside right now. It is hot, so this is nice. Look at this. Okay, this is guest bedroom, what, number four? That's right, this is the fourth bedroom in this house. I think it's pretty slick. It's got these little hidden doors. Not quite hidden, but you know, they're integrated into the walls. We've got storage over here, as well as uh, over there directly in front of me. Built-in walnut cabinetry, and then over here, just a ton of, this could be a panic room, but they use it as a closet and, uh, you know, a cellar space. This is where you put the expensive bottles of wine, I would imagine. The stuff that you keep away from your guests because you don't want them leaving with a the secret 200, stash. Yeah, secret stash. Theater room, I'm a big movie buff. I love to watch myself on TV, so maybe I'll come back later in the week and we'll air this here. I can already see it now. Calgary Cribs airing today with your host, Zach Turlier. $4 million house in Bel Air. What do you think? Looks awesome. The dark texture on the wall too is really nice. Yeah, the wallpaper is slick in this room for sure. This is one of the things that I'm missing in my house. I would love to have a screening room. I'm a big movie buff as you know. What's next? Gym space. Gym space. No equipment in here right now, but you guys get the point. You've got a perfect spot for two treadmills, a Peloton if you wanted. When I go to the gym, this is mostly what I do. I just kind of sit and watch, maybe a few curls, but uh, yeah, this is a perfect size space for a gym room. This is all you need. Speaking of gym, I'm running out of breath because this property is so large. Why don't we show them the outside of the property and then we'll wrap it up and call it a day.
Let's go. Beautiful day today outside. We've got the birds chirping. You can see that this is a beautiful yard, very low maintenance. I love the perimeter wall with this property. It keeps everything safe. Gated entrance leading to your driveway as well. Undermount lighting in the soffit, which is a nice touch at night in particular. This house is gonna show really well. Yeah, the raw garden's cool yeah. with the black mulch. I think so. I think it's got really good characteristics. Very low maintenance house, which is what you want in a property like this. I can smell the lilacs. Go smell the roses, Zach. <laughs> no, these aren't roses. These are lilacs, my mother's favorite flower. You pointed this out earlier though. What did you call this? A phallic sculpture. A phallic sculpture. You gotta have one of those in your garden. If you're a big swing in, you need one of these. Out back, you've got this incredibly private patio that's accessible by two entrances through the driveway. And over here to my left, this takes us through, if you remember, over to the master suite. So a really nice private patio space, gas fireplace out here, aspens and mature trees as tall as the eye can see. You could spend a lot of great summer nights back here. Covered a lot of ground here today, $3.8 million, 7,000 square feet and a ton of incredible entertaining spaces. This is by far one of the favorite properties I've ever seen, but I'd be curious to know and leave this in the comments below, what were some of your favorite features of this home? Also special thanks to my good friend and colleague, Gary Heald. This is in fact his listing. So Gary, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to tour this beautiful home here today. If you're interested in finding out more information about this property, you can contact Gary or myself. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.